Okay, in this video we're looking at the oxidation of secondary alcohols. A secondary alcohol, the carbon of the OH is bonded to two other carbons. We use potassium dichromate um, in acidified conditions for H2SO4. We heat it and we get a ketone. All secondary alcohols, when they're oxidised, make ketones. The ketone is similar to the aldehyde, except there's no hydrogen on the carbon of the double bond O. So it's never at the end of a chain, it's always somewhere in the middle. We also produce a molecule of water. Secondary alcohols can only be oxidised once. So it doesn't matter if we use distillation or reflux, you would really, you're only ever going to produce a ketone, it can't be oxidised any further. Okay, if we have a look at this example here, so I'll put in a bit more of a complicated example to show you. Here we've got a secondary alcohol, this carbon is bonded to that carbon and that carbon. It's oxidised, we make a ketone and molecule of water. And just like before, when we saw a primary alcohol, so potassium dichromate goes from orange to green. Tertiary alcohols, so when the carbon with the OH is bonded to three other carbons, cannot be oxidised. So they stay as they are. There'll be no colour change because potassium dichromate wouldn't be reacting, so it stays orange. So that's what we get with every tertiary alcohol. No matter what the conditions are, it will not be oxidised. 